everyone has election fever these days or more likely at this point in time it's probably election exhaustion <laughs> so, and we still have months and months to go, <laughs> months to go. Uh, that being said we're covering the most affordable lgbtq plus friendly cities in blue states and this means you guessed it we will also cover the most affordable LGBTQ friendly cities in red states, even though evidently we're not allowed to talk about what? them. We'll do that in two weeks. So stay tuned to hear later on what we're going to be covering next week. Meanwhile, let's get down to business. All right. So going from five to one, the fifth place city on this list of affordability, LGBTQ plus friendliness and being blue is Syracuse, New York. Home values in Syracuse, New York, average $158,000 per property. That is the lowest on this particular list of five. Cost of living is 85.9% of the national average, coming in at fourth place on this list. And 50.8% um, of the population identify as black or a person of color. So right on, some diversity there. Exactly. Coming in at number four is Racine, Wisconsin. Uh, rents for Racine are $932 for a two-bedroom, two-bathroom. This is crazy. the lowest in the top five and consistently shows up as one of the lowest when we look at all of the states. Cost of living is 80.4% of the national average. That is the second lowest of these the five we're going to talk about here. Median income and average income, both are the lowest of the top five, coming in at $51,000 and $69,000, respectively. This is Queer Money episode number 497. We're continuing, obviously, to share the most affordable LGBTQ plus friendly cities in states all across the U.S. in different kinds of buckets. This week, obviously, we're covering politics a little bit. Uh, we are sharing the top most affordable LGBTQ plus friendly cities in blue states. Last week, you might remember, we covered the most affordable LGBTQ plus friendly cities that were the most ready for climate change. So that was pretty cool. So you may be saying... Where did you get this data? WTF. <laughs> right. Well, first of all, to let you know, all of the cities in our top five here are cities that scored 100 on HRC's Municipal Equality Index. And that is what we're using as a measurement of whether or not a city is inviting to the LGBT community, both uh, when it comes to policy as well as uh, protections. Um, then we're also looking at cities that are in blue states, and we define that based on information that we found in Wikipedia. Wikipedia defines a blue state as a state where three of the last four or all four of the last four presidential elections, the state went in favor of the Democratic candidate. And then we overlay that information on top of the information we have collected around economics. That's rent and housing from Zillow, cost of living from bestplaces.net, and U.S. Census median and average incomes. All right. So coming in at number three is Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It comes up on a lot of our <laughs> list does. as well. <laughs> and of the 177 cities that we uh, covered, this scored the third position for most affordable and friendly cities for LGBTQ plus singles. Um, so that's pretty cool. Home values in Pittsburgh average $193,000 per property. That's the second on this particular list. Cost of living is 94.7% of the national average, the highest on this list. Median income comes at $57,000 a year, the second highest on this list. And average income comes in at $76,000 a year, the highest on this list of five. Yeah, we got some high income, so a little bit higher cost of living there. A bit. All right, coming in at number two is Rochester, New York. Rochester, New York keeps getting mentioned as a city that is great for the trans community, in part due to not only their medical resources, but lots of other resources for individuals who decide to move there. Um, rent comes in at $1,366 a month for a two-bedroom, two-bathroom. That is the highest of the, the top five list uh, cities that we're covering here in this list. And then cost of living is the other direction, which I think is kind of funny. <laughs> the cost of living is 79.1. That's the lowest of our top five. <laughs> exactly. Um, worth noting that of all the blue cities, or I'm sorry, of all the blue states that we analyzed for this particular analysis, a total of 82 cities scored a 100 on the Human Rights Campaign Campaign's Municipal Equality Index. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, we were scolded, though, way back when, when we mentioned Laramie, Wyoming, when we covered the state of Wyoming. I think we were scolded for covering the state at all, um, but particularly Laramie. Um, and it's important to note that um, 106 of the uh, cities on this list of blue states um, scored a 77 or less on HRC's MEI. And that was the score that Laramie had at the time of that recording. Uh, congratulations to Laramie, though. They jumped up 12 points. 
<laughs> yeah, from 20- and now for the 2024 list, uh, they scored an 89, so up from 77 to 89. Yeah, that's that's kind of some proof here that that not all cities in blue states are always as welcoming and accepting at the policy and uh, protections level that even some of the cities in red states are. We also wanted to share some honorable mentions because not every city that is listed here is going to be a gay mecca. So we wanted to share some of the places that gays actually do love. Um, And so coming in at number 25 on our list is Ferndale, Michigan. Now, you may not may not know where Ferndale, Michigan is unless you live in Detroit. It is actually uh, one of the gayest neighborhoods in Detroit. It's actually one of the places that John and I love to go to when we decide to get away from Toledo. It's a about a 45 minute drive and it's just full of cute restaurants yeah. and bars that are all catering and, and coffee shops that all cater to the queer community. And little pride flags all over the place. Exactly. Very friendly. Yeah. The next coming in uh, at number 21 was Chicago, Illinois. Nothing needs to be said about Chicago. Everybody loves Chicago. Um, also coming in at 20 was Washington, D.C., Again, a city that is just packed full of queer people, right? We Not know necessarily that... affordable, but the incomes are fat. Right, exactly. And the reason why it is so high is because of those really high median and average incomes. Then at number 17 is Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. City of brotherly love. Exactly. And then this city keeps popping up on our list. At number eight is Baltimore, Maryland. I think a lot of that has to do with the affordability of Baltimore, but it also did show up on a climate readiness list, on our climate readiness list, um, which is also pretty cool because it's actually a coastal city and most coastal cities are not climate ready. What I've had, what I found in the comments that we've gotten on social media and whatnot about Baltimore, people either love Baltimore or they hate it. There's no no like hey, it's okay. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's the case with almost it's not every a city, right? Your your particular self your self uh, uh, um, experiences there inform whether or not you actually love it or hate it. So remember to smash that smash that like and share button and let other queer folks know about this list. Capital One Auto Navigator does more than just auto financing. We're here to help you find a car you love too. Shop millions of cars from thousands of dealers nationwide. Research your favorite makes and models. Explore dealers near you and more. All on Auto Navigator. All right. Well, you've all been waiting for the number one winning city on this list, the most affordable LGBTQ plus friendly blue city in a blue state. Exactly. <laughs> that is Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Yeah. Nobody expected that. No. Again, <laughs> out of the 177 cities that we analyzed for uh, most affordable LGBTQ plus friendly for singles, um, this scored the sixth position. And then uh, this was the winning city from last week for climate readiness. So, wow, it keeps popping up on the list. Maybe we've never been there. Maybe it's a place we need to check out. Uh, Two thirds or about 67% of the population identify as black or person of color. So some diversity there as well. Uh, Home values average $288,000 per property, the highest on this list. So the most expensive. Cost of living is 91.5% of the national average. Median income is $57,000 a year, also the highest on this list of five. And average income comes in at $76,000 a year, the second highest on this list of five. So what do you think? Share with us in the comments if you're on YouTube or on TikTok or on Spotify. Uh, We would love to know what you think. If you want to see all 242 cities that we analyze for this list, you can go to queermoneypodcast.com forward slash cities and download that list. Thank you for joining us for another episode. Join us next Tuesday when we talk about how you can increase your income by investing in short-term rentals. And next Thursday when we cover the most affordable LGBTQ-friendly cities in purple states. There are three of them. And you know what I'm thinking right now. Right, go ahead. Purple state, purple <laughs> states. Sorry, Prince. If you'd like to see the results from each city that we're analyzing in every list, please go to queermoneypodcast.com forward slash cities. Click the link in your podcast player if you're listening or click the link right here if you're watching on YouTube. Thank you and have a great weekend. <laughs>